Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today we got some news and some information about an upcoming 3D printer that may rub some people the wrong way. We need to see how this plays out, but this is going to be the latest from Elegoo. It is the Centauri Carbon 2. That's right. It's a sequel to the Centauri Carbon, and they have some information up on uh, one of Elegoo's Chinese websites. So let's take a look at it here. This is what the Centauri Carbon 2 is going to look like. Now, you take a look at this style. It is very reminiscent of what Flash Forge has done with the 85X. And if Flash Forge had come out with the Guider 4 Pro, it would have looked a lot more similar to this because it has the four filament spools on one side of the printer. It has what they are referring to as the canvas right there. That is their multicolor system. Also on the side with the filament uh, strands going up into it. And because it has those long loopy PTFE tubes, just like the 85X, it's going to have this big dome on top of it to prevent those tubes from basically knocking the top off. It looks like they've solved that problem ahead of time. Now, the thing about this Centauri Carbon 2 is, from what I understand, we don't know quite yet if they're going to be offering an upgrade path to those who purchased the original Centauri Carbon. I hope that they do, but um, that's not too clear right now. So let's just keep those pitchforks kind of at waist level for now until we learn, learn more about it. And then we'll decide whether you can raise those pitchforks up. But for right now, let's just take a look at some of these pictures these are in uh, the text is in Chinese. I can't read Chinese, but don't worry, AI can. And we'll take a look at the translations in just a moment. But just by going through these pictures, we can infer some things here, such as the noise level of this printer looks like 45.4 decibels. So that's going to be uh, not loud at all. And here is the build volume of it, 256 cubed, so pretty standard all the way around. It looks like everything is going to be assembled for the most part. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of assembly, but nothing too complicated. There's canvas. There's a multicolor cat with headphones on. Got some print speeds here, 500 millimeters a second. Acceleration, max speed, 20,000 millimeters per second squared. Some examples of how long it would take to print these particular models. Remember, this is a single nozzle, so there is going to be purge. There is going to be waste. Um, that's just the way that these types of systems operate. We're looking at the hot hand here. It looks like it's going to go up to 350 degrees Celsius with a bed temperature of 110 degrees Celsius. So not too shabby at all. Got some fan stuff here. 1000 watts. Okay. So it looks like what they're going to be doing with the bed here is that the bed temperatures are going to be able to, um, get up to the proper temperature faster than usual. So it looks like they've supercharged that in a way. Let's just keep on going down. Of course, auto level everything. That's the way that things should be right now. Let's just keep on going here. Shows you basically what the assembly is like. There's the hot end, more text, more text. And now we are done with this. Now, like I said, I couldn't read any of that, but I took this web page and I threw it into perplexity and that'll be able to tell us in pretty decent accuracy what all of this means. So here's what perplexity was able to translate. High speed core XY precision, fully closed, smart, quiet, and ready to print straight out of the box. So it's going to have the 500 millimeters per second velocity, 20,000 millimeters per second squared for acceleration, automatic everything. It has a camera print right out of the box. It says factory assembled, tested and calibrated, unbox, load filament and start printing immediately. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Multi-material ready, compatible with a wide range of materials, including PLA carbon fiber, PETG and carbon carbon fiber composites. So that would definitely mean that the hot end that ships with this is going to be hardened steel. Those extruder gears should also be hardened steel so that you can immediately start printing with those uh, abrasive filaments. 
Going beyond standard materials like PLA and PTG, Centauri Carbon 2 is built specialized and is built for specialized and technical filaments. Its thermal engineering and structural design supports stable high temp environments, idea for prototype development and functional parts. A little bit of some industrial flavor going on with this particular printer. With this 320 degrees Celsius hot and 110 degrees Celsius heated bed, there it is brass hardened steel nozzle and a high efficiency fan system so i guess with the brass hardened steel nozzles the type of nozzle that is brass on one end and then the tip is hardened steel so probably for being able to generate heat a lot faster because of the brass part but then when it comes to actually pushing out the filament it's going to go through the hardened steel part that's my assumption there all optimized for carbon fiber, nylon, uh, PET, carbon fiber, and other advanced filaments. Good stuff. Let's see what else is new here. Uh, Built-in filament cutter. Of course, it's going to have a filament cutter. You need that. Uh, no heat waiting for manual trimming. Semi-automatic belt tensioning, power loss recovery, filament detection, fan self-check. Constant fan monitoring with automatic alerts and speed control ensures stable cooling and warp-free prints. It also has a high-resolution chamber camera. Very good. Been able to use that for time lapses. It has LED lighting, just like the original Centauri Carbon. There's those different speeds again. Flow rate from the hot end maxes out at 32 millimeters cubed per second. Well, that's pretty, pretty good. Extrusion ratio of 5.2. There's that heat bed right there. Quick heating, AC-based heat bed reduces preheat time, okay? I'm really curious to see, like, how long it would take to go from, let's say, like, 22 degrees Celsius up until, like, 60 to 65. I want to see how fast it actually can do that. So it's, uh, it doesn't like it has a heated chamber. The chamber is closed, but they say that it does a pretty good job of retaining stable internal heat. Vibration compensation, press, pressure advance, uh, three coordinated fans for cooling the filament and chamber control, 4.3 inch touchscreen, magnetic nozzle cover, uh, filament weighs bin, but printable model included. Keeps your workspace clean. Print do it yourself model. You know, that's pretty interesting. I remember Uncle Jesse talking about how these printers should come with waste bins or something like that already in the box. And it looks like they thought about that, but you would still have to print it because it's printable, but at least they kind of, you know, give you the file. So I guess it's a step in the right direction, although it's not completely there yet, but we're getting there. Filament holder on the right side, transparent chamber door. Look at your stuff while you print it. It's one of the best parts. And then it also just kind of broke down all of the specs here in this uh, nice little format. All, all the stuff that I just read. And then it says availability notice. Filament shown in images is uh, sold separately. The filament waste bin must be 3D printed by the user, but the file is included. Multicolor print module expected in Q3 2025. That's like now basically so yeah that is the ai translated version i think that it did a pretty good job it sounds like it did but of course the main question is going to be can you upgrade the original centauri carbon to use this new canvas system even if you can't uh, partake in any of the other upgrades that the centauri carbon 2 is offering that we don't know and i'm sure a lot of people are wondering uh, LMU is definitely going to have to answer for that. And, you know, the Centauri Carbon is a $300 machine. It impressed a whole lot of people with the amount of quality that Elegoo was able to pack in that machine at such a low cost. So I definitely don't think that even at this point that it wouldn't be worth getting something like the Centauri Carbon. I think that it is. But at the same time, we were expecting an upgrade, so hopefully there will be one. But as more information about this comes out, we'll keep an eye on it. And I'll be sure to let you know if anything changes for better or for worse. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon.